What's up guys, this is Yasser. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasser's Fit Frag. And today I'm gonna talk about 15 perfumes that are mostly loved by women. Now what exactly you mean by mostly loved by women? Because there are fragrances which men love the most but not necessarily that they please women because women and men have difference in taste so you need to choose which fragrance to wear based on your occasion because at times we guys also have boys outing, girls also have girls outing. So when there are moments which you know that you're going to spend time only with your guy friends, you can definitely wear fragrances that are potent, leathery, woody, tobacco type of fragrance which you know that men will anyway love them. So there are fragrances like that so I've done a separate video on perfumes that are loved by men as well. So today I'm going to talk about those fragrances which are loved by women. So let's say you're going to spend time with your wife, your loved one. So it is not necessary that you should wear the fragrance that you love all the time because there could be an instance where you're spending a good romantic time with your wife and you want to wear the fragrances that she also loves. This is something that you can wear. So I'll be showing you 15 different fragrances which in my wearing experience every woman have loved it. So at number 15 is Lacoste L12. So I just have a miniature which is an 8ml. This is how the outer pack comes and this is how the bottle comes. This is a sprayer in fact and this is where the sprayer comes. 8ml sprayer. This is a miniature again and this is how the outer pack comes because this is not one of my favorite that I wanted to buy a larger bottle. I was okay with the 8ml just in case you know I feel like wearing it or it's easy to carry as well during traveling so that is Lacoste L12 you can either have that or you can also have Mont Blanc Legend Spirit which also smells similar this is also a miniature now these two share kind of similar DNAs I wouldn't say they are clones but you can either have one of the two if you do not want to spend a lot of money on different fragrances choose one of the two I personally like this one though this is a little lighter this one projects better in the first one to two hours this one has soft projection for one hour but otherwise both have similar fresh soapy kind of nuance so in case you like that kind of fragrance this is definitely that you can try so these two I'm placing at number 15 because I kind of find them quite similar though they are not clones fresh soapy kind of daytime fragrance so that's at number 15 at number 14 is Versace Eau Fraiche. Man Eau Fraiche is the full name. This is how the outer pack comes. This is also a miniature. I do not own a full bottle because these are kind of good to have. I personally liked Versace Dylan Blue among all the Versace lines. Eros is also good but among the freshes Dylan Blue is what I prefer the most. So there is also Versace Poor Home which I don't know where I lost the bottle. I had a similar miniature. I've done a separate video on that as well. I can't find it right now so I struggled a bit searching for it but anyways no problem. Comparatively when I compared with Versace Poor Home and Mano Fresh I still love this one because it has that beautiful star fruit kind of note in it which is slightly different from the usual fresh scents. Again Olivia Crisp is who made this fragrance. He's the perfumer of this one and I really love some of his fragrances including this one so that is Mano Fresh a beautiful star fruit fresh type of fragrance at number 13 is Blue de Chanel by Chanel or your own Dior Sauvage now the reason why I'm placing this both at number 13 is because both of these are a little expensive they cost around seven to eight and a half so if you want to own only one fragrance I will tell you the difference now this smells more natural this has that slight synthetic ambroxan note this has that beautiful grapefruit note with that melon note. This is soft and more natural smelling. This is very strong. It projects really good, better than this one. So in case you're looking for a good projecting, performing summer scent, go for Dior Sauvage. It needs no description again. It is a beautiful ambroxan aquatic type of fragrance. Both of these are good, but you need to make your choice if you have the budget for only one. At number 12 is my favorite or rather used to be my favorite is Versace Dylan Blue. Now this is my backup bottle like I said comparatively among the freshies I like Versace Dylan Blue that's why I have two bottles of this. I'm done with this one. This is the second bottle. Now this is a beautiful fresh aquatic with that incense note and, and that is what makes it different from the usual fresh scents that you get. I don't know why some people complain about the performance. I easily get about seven to eight hours with good projection of two hours. 
now again in my wearing experience this does not suit when i wear it directly on my skin but it smells gorgeous when i wear it on my clothes so i'm not sure if people find that differences because of that try it on your clothes because i also experienced that it does not smell that great when i try it on my skin when i sweat but it smells awesome when i wear it on my clothes so beautiful fresh scent with that soft incense note so that is versace dylan blue at number 11 now not many know about this but let me tell you guys this is one of the beautiful citrus fragrance that you can try and that is mansara lemon line this is also usually loved by women because the opening you might find it a little too citrusy so ignore it for the first 15 to 20 minutes then comes that beautiful citrus vibe that you get in luxury resorts body wash or the soap bars that you get in luxury resorts which has that nice lemon note this smells exactly like that a beautiful high quality citrus fragrance but that citrus in the first 20 minutes can be very sharp but after that is when it gives that luxury resort vibe women love this after the dry down of 15 to 20 minutes it turns into that beautiful luxury feel with that citrus note now there is another fragrance which almost smells similar and that is from the house of Garland that is Bergamon Calabria. The full name is Aqua Allegoria Bergamon Calabria from the house of Garland. Now Garland if you guys are not aware makes one of the most high quality ingredient fragrance. Even if I have to compare this with Chanel or Dior I would say Garland makes even better quality than Chanel or Dior. But unfortunately, these are hard to find in India. It is very rarely supplied in India. I am not sure why. This is best suited for summers. When I compare these two with each other, they share similar kind of notes. It's just that this has a little spiciness on that lemon note. It has that nice cardamom and ginger along with that lemon note. And it makes it a little spicy along with the geranium note. And this smells very smooth right from the start compared to this one and it gives a good lasting of 10 hours on clothes this also gives a good lasting of 8 to 9 hours but the projection is much much better in this one this is soft and smooth right from the start this gets smooth and richer after that 20 minutes mark the opening is very sharp on the citrus but projects really good compared to this one so that's the difference so you can either own this or that unless you like all different kinds of citrus fragrance then you can try both at number 10 again i would give a tie here because these two are close encounter fragrances because they don't really project it is not known for projection but they are the sexiest fragrance that you can ever find till date 100 percent of the women love and that is dolce gabbana the one eau de parfum and lana Delhomme from isa lorraine Okay, I'm sure you guys know about both these fragrances because this is already hyped by Jeremy fragrance a lot, especially this one, Lanouille de Lome, which is the sexiest cardamom fragrance. I totally agree with that. This is one of the sexiest cardamom fragrance, that soft sexiness, which women can love, like I said. This is again a sexy ginger based fragrance with that little tobacco note. Now both these are loved by women in my wearing experience as well but the only problem is the women who would cuddle you let's say your wife is the only one who would be smelling this one because it is so soft in projection it stays more like a skin scent and it projects only about 30 minutes after you spray it and then it gets closer to your skin it is more like a skin scent both of these last only about five hours in my wearing experience so own one of them make your choice this is ginger and a little bit of tobacco this is sexy cardamom so see what you like or see what your woman likes so in case you do not want both because both of these cost around that four and a half to five thousand marks so let's say you have a tight budget you want to own one of them to please your woman that you love go for one of these so that's the reason i'm placing both at number 10 like i said this will not project so do not wear it and say nobody complimented me because it's not gonna happen especially in the weather that we live in india it is not going to project at all so you can wear this only to impress your loved one with whom you're going to have a cozy time so that is dolce gabbana the one eau de parfum and lana with delorme by isa lorraine now coming to number nine is armani code profumo you can either have Armani Code Colonia or Armani Code Profumo because both of these share similar DNAs but personally I love this one more than this and that's the reason I have a full bottle of this. This I think is a 60 ml. Yes it's a 60 ml it also comes with 120 ml 
This one I just went for the 15 ml because I personally enjoy this one more than this because this is more richer, more denser. It does have that typical Armani Core DNA which was initially released but this is more richer, more denser with that nice soft leathery nuance and that Tonka bean. So do not wear it in the high summers. It suits only and only in the winters or in the cooler seasons or air conditioned setup this can be tested even without air conditions it is not as sweet as this one this has a little powdery nuance but again do not wear it in the high summers daytime you can definitely wear it in the evening times it is still good enough but i personally love this one but both of these are loved by women so in case you have a tough call between these two ask the women you love as to which one she likes and then you can go for one of them so in case you haven't seen the miniature bottle, this is how it looks. Though the larger bottle and the miniature have difference in the bottle shape, which I've already told in a previous video. So that was Armani Code Profumo and Armani Code Colonia. At number nine is Valentino Umo Intense. Now I've already explained this. This is one of the classic smelling, rich smelling Irish based fragrance with that little leathery nuance and that little vanilla to give it that smoothness beautiful high class royal smelling suit kind of fragrance so in case you're going to spend time with your loved one in a suit black suit for example this is one of the sexiest fragrance that you can find that is Valentino Umo Intense coming in at number eight is Ultra Male by Jean-Paul Gaultier again this needs no much description most of you guys would know this my wife loves this a lot whenever I wear this she comes and tells are you wearing Ultra Male because she recognizes this very very soon so it is a beautiful sweet pear and vanilla type of fragrance it is very sweet so if you are into masculine type of fragrance i'm not sure if you love this one but like i said there are fragrances which women love more than men this is one of them that is ultra male by john paul gaultier at number seven is aqua di Gio absolute now again like i said most of the men go for profumo but in my wearing experience profumo was usually loved by men this is what women love in my wearing experience if it is the opposite for you no problem you can own one of these but from what i've seen women go crazy on this one that is aqua di Gio absolute now this one has a little bit of that invictus harvest vibe along with that aqua di Gio dna with that nice woody base probably that is why women like it because obviously women love harvest and invictus though they are common dna's in 2020 because they started off in 2014 and 15 right now it's kind of outdated but still women love it so in case you have a situation where you want to please your woman aqua di Gio absolute is one of them okay at number six office for men now should i even explain this now if you ask my honest opinion when it comes to women's compliments this definitely does the job but if you ask my opinion whether i really love this one this is just okay to me because for those who try different type of fragrances you won't find this very special but it is definitely good to please a woman or to get compliments from women because it definitely does that job i would say it's a hundred percent compliment getter from women but as a scent of its own if you ask if it is unique it is not unique at all because it has that vibes of Aventus it has that vibes of Dior Sauvage as well with that nice sexy woody note so that is Office for Men by Jeremy Fragrance at number five I'm sorry if I have misplaced the numbering so this is at number five I'm not sure what I mentioned earlier so Office for Men at number five now coming in at number four is Issa Lorraine Y Eau de Parfum a sexy bottle and a sexy green apple and sage based fragrance I personally love this one more than this one because this has a slight difference to the usual sense that you find a beautiful green apple with that sage spiciness very sexy fragrance and I see most women love this one including my wife my female colleagues also react really good when I wear this one they take a deep breath <sighs> okay that kind of reaction is what i get when i wear ysl by oda parfum at number three is azaro wanted by night okay look at the bottle it's like that revolver where you get six bullets you know the old style revolver but beautiful bottle not one of the common types now again this is one of the sexiest fruity cinnamon type of fragrance it does share similar vibes of Invictus, but it is not exactly like Invictus. It has its own twist, but it is definitely very sweet. So if you are into masculine type of fragrance, this is not something that you would enjoy. But when it comes to women's compliments, if you want to please a woman, 
I've seen every woman liking this one. That is Azaro Wanted by Night. Performance wise is also great. It gives a good projection for two hours. Good lasting of eight hours. At number two, Udros by Inspired Aroma. This is the 50 ml extra to perform concentration. They also have this pure perform, which is a little expensive. But in my honest opinion, this itself has a great projection and great performance. So I would rather say that go for the extra to perform itself because pure perform might be too potent to women because this in my wearing experience smells better after 30 minutes because it settles down a bit though it still projects for two to three hours heavy okay it just pierces into the air during the cooler season especially in the winters because i've worn it twice one was to office which was just for testing purpose though it is not a typical office scent 30 minutes before do not overspray this one because it loses the beauty if you overspray so go with four five sprays if you're going indoors 30 minutes before and it smells fantastic guys women love this a lot probably because of that dry rosy nuance it has along with that woody oud note it is not totally middle eastern so it does share that zajoff more than words dna as well which is a niche brand men also like this one but comparatively what i've seen is women go crazy on this one probably because of that dry rose nuance but wear it only during the winters or if you happen to be in an air conditioned setup because it cannot smell great during the high summers so do not waste this in the high summers wear it only and only in the cooler seasons or if you happen to spend your time in air conditioned setup because that's when it creates the magic in the winters for outdoors it pierces into that cool breeze it just attracts everybody because that's the kind of response i get okay you can see the juice level right i've worn it only twice because i can't take so many compliments guys because it feels a little weird when everybody reacts oh my god are you, what are you wearing so that kind of reaction sometimes make you uncomfortable i don't know i feel that way sometimes okay not always it's obviously good to get compliments but when you get over compliments sometimes you can't digest it right <laughs> okay i'm not trying to exaggerate but just try it okay now at number one is rasasi havas needs no description my favorite when it comes to compliments this is something that you can wear all around the year except dead winters if you happen to stay in that kind of a location because especially in india you don't really see that dead winters except for like two to three months which is average winters maybe about 16 to 18 degrees celsius so this would still work in that kind of temperature but if you happen to stay below 16 degrees celsius this is the king guys king of compliments women love this though they may not like it when they smell it up close but in the air this is sexy like hell but this one whether you smell it from close or let's say whether your woman smell it from close or from a distance this is sexy in all ways and you can easily wear it all around the year unless you happen to be in a city where you experience dead winters for more than three four months then you probably have to choose winter based fragrance but otherwise Havas is the sexiest fragrance that I've seen when it comes to women's reaction. So that was at number one. Thanks for watching again. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time soon. Comment down in the comment section as to which is your fragrance which you feel your woman loves the most. See you next time soon. Cheers.